Hey guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to share a fun read aloud with you of the story, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. The story, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, was written in 1985 by Laura Joff Numeroff, and it's illustrated by Felicia Bond, but today we're also going to be telling the story with felt characters. And every Friday, until I run out of felt books, we will have felted Fridays. So if you're ready to hear the story and see the story, I'm ready to share it with you. Here we go. So today I will be showing you both the pictures in the book, but also we'll play along with our felt. If you give a mouse a cookie is the name of the story. If you give a mouse a cookie, What do you think he's going to want? He's going to ask for a glass of milk. And when you give him the milk, so he has a cookie, but now he needs milk. But it's hard for him to drink, so what do you think he's going to ask for next? I think you got it. Then he's going to ask, he'll probably ask you for a straw. Let me take some of these down as we go. So now he has his milk. Oh, almost has milk. He has his milk and his straw. And when he's finished, he'll ask you for a napkin. So when he's done with his cookies and milk, he's going to ask you for a napkin. So you had to search everywhere to find a straw. But now he's happy and full. Then he'll want to look in the mirror to make sure that he doesn't have a milk mustache. And when he looks into the mirror, he might notice that his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask you for a pair of scissors. I'm sorry, a pair of nail scissors. So some little tiny ones. He's looking in the mirror, wants to make sure he looks good. And then he realizes, oh, my hair's getting a little long. I need some scissors. And when he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up the bathroom. And he'll start sweeping, and he might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. You know how mice are. So he's trimming, you see all that hair flying everywhere. He's not going to leave a mess. So he gets a broom and he's going to clean up after himself. But then he kind of cleaned all the rooms. He It looks like he just loves to sweep. He might even end up washing the floors as well. And when he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. That sounds like he's just a little guy. Cleaning a whole house would be hard. And you'll have to fix him a little, uh, you'll have to fix a little box for him with a pillow and a blanket. A little box just for him. I'll put it down here on the floor so he can get right in. And it has a little blanket and a pillow and it's in a powder container like for makeup. And he'll crawl in and he'll make himself comfortable and fluff the pillow a few times. And he'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. And when he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited He'll want to draw one of his own. So he'll ask you for paper and crayons. He likes a lot of stuff. And he'll draw a picture. Look at his little, he's so little that the crayons are taller than him, and his paper, he can lay on it like it's a rug. And when the picture is finished, He'll want to sign his name. Look at his cute little mouse family picture. Drawing his ha a little house in the tree. 
But now he was a masterpiece, so he needs to sign it. He can't just sign it with crayon. He's going to need a pen. Boom. And then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need... What's he going to need if he wants to hang a picture on the refrigerator? Some tape. So he's written his name. He has his beautiful masterpiece. And now he needs tape. Tape. <clears throat> Scotch tape, so it's clear. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. And looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty. So. Oh, he's dying of thirst. Oh. So, oh, and the boy is tired because he's running around finding all these things for his mouse. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, and chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, He's going to want a cookie to go with it. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you really enjoyed the story if you give a mouse a cookie. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click that subscribe button down at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. Also, if you enjoyed having felt characters joining our story, please tune in every Friday until I run out of felt stories and listen to a felted Friday story. I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.